This building was recently imported from SketchUp as a shape, a massing model, into the Onuma system. You'll notice that it has floors and uh, spaces for each floor, showing the mass of each floor, basically the total gross area per floor. Notice that it's all white, so it doesn't have any designation as far as use. So there, this is one way of actually attaching departmental use to this building. So we'll go back to the Onuma system here, and here's the building simply placed on the site from Google Earth. We'll go into export. There's multiple ways of doing this, but we're going to do it as an export Excel and inject it back into the Onuma system and inject it back in with all the data. We're now going to export the space attributes. Each of these exports has different uses. So let's exp let's unfold the description you'll see in the space attributes. It has information about individual spaces per floor. So we'll ex export that. To the desktop. Open that Excel file and now we see this building shown per floor. And you'll actually see this. If this if there were multiple buildings, we'll see more than building one. But right now we have building one and we're at the site level, so we've exported everything about building one. And let's say that um, we're gonna designate it per floor. There's a column here, column Q called departments. Let's actually hide the rest of them so you can see what's going on here. Let's zoom in a little bit. So on each floor there's a single space which designates the uh, the massing of that floor. So on floor 34 and all the way down to floor 1. Let's say that we have a department called number 1 which is actually commercial zone. So we're just going to call these uh, spaces in column Q as a commercial, as a department. And let's call floor 4 and above office so we'll just call it number two. It's just a code that says number two is office, for example. And number three could be residential. And obviously in Excel, you can do a lot of things like just copy pasting different cells. It's a very simple exercise of uh, pasting in what you want to use per floor. You can get as granular as you want, but we'll just leave this as four different zones in the Excel file. So we have 34 floors, a department, a, uh, a shape per floor that defines a net, the gross area in Excel on our desktop. We're going to save that now. We're going to go back to the Onuma system now and actually import instead of export. So we're going to import. The options here are shown in the import dialog box, which also has descriptions. And what we want to do now is import. Um, spaces back into uh, the Onuma system. So there's several options here. Update space attributes for all buildings is down here. We're going to select that. It's asking us to choose the Excel file. We're going to grab the Excel file that we downloaded earlier. Right here, BIM site. Choose that and import. And basically, it's going to be injecting the attributes about each floor for 34 spaces. There are 34 floors. We just made it very simple. There's one space per floor at the master planning level. That's really all you need. So now, instead of just having a white building with all the same attributes, if we zoom in, we see the same building here. And on the right side, you actually see um, how do we want to render this. Let's say that let's render it by space volume, which we had. So you see the the space is being rendered here and the color coding is going to be by department. And now we see each department color coded by use. So if we click on this floor, for example, it shows us that on this floor, there's 28,000 square feet of this particular use. They're just color coded by number right now, one, two, three, four. But if we go into the settings in the upper right, There's something called general settings, department, and we're going to classify these departments as number one is, let's say this is commercial, number two is office, number three is residential, 
number four is let's say this hotel and we can continue to classify here I'm just going to keep these in which we have to put some value in here so I'm just going to call it six seven eight nine ten for now we can always come back and update it if we need a new type of department it's good from a project's perspective to standardize in these views but this is how you would start from a completely blank scheme start creating your own classification system when you're working with a team it's obviously good to say we're going to classify by commercial office residential hotel and now if we uh, go into the building click on the building name on the left and we go to any floor you'll actually start to see the color coding per floor with the space attributes of department we're on the first floor and the first floor is all commercial obviously if you go to report on the top part here report dialog comes up we'll go on building report and it's going to create a report of the entire building how many square feet for the total building create a color-coded pie chart saying how many square feet of office space do we have and floor by floor summary here we can actually enlarge this so just by starting with the, um, the SketchUp model that we created a quick massing model we have a very rapid way of calculating square footage per floor this is all the stuff that's really not fun to do manually but if you connect it to the model the, the eye of BIM starts coming through and you can start quickly creating classification for a single building. Now imagine doing this for the entire city and all of a sudden you can start pushing and pulling and saying how many total residential square feet do we have in this part of the city. So this was a quick exercise of how to take a model that was started in SketchUp after it's imported in start classifying the use per floor. If you as a team start deciding on standards for the project you don't have to recreate it every time you basically start using that classification system and quickly be able to visualize this 3d model in google earth inside a browser with the color coding of the space volume color coded by use